Alright, welcome back to Against the Storm. I am going to be checking out the sealed forest here for this adamantine seal. I have not seen the sealed forest since they reworked it. I think that was like a month and a half, two months ago, something like that. So, this will be my first check of the new sealed forest don't know anything about it so we'd better take a look at what we've got all right abyssal revenge are those faces in the trees woodcutters don't increase hostility but every 10 felled trees adds to hostility which scales based on difficulty so that's gonna be six hostility for every 10 tree. that seems kind of harsh all right Broken ancient seal is hidden somewhere in the forest. Look for clues in the glades. Foul plagues during the storm. All right, no idea how nasty that's gonna be. All right, get some kind of help. Again, no idea what we're getting, so don't know how much easier that will make it. trees have a lot more resource charges okay so maybe you're not cutting down as many trees so maybe the hostility doesn't go up as fast as I would expect it to all right now what do I have here I got six points we have all right, berries and mushrooms means that an herbalist would be decent but the herbalist is expensive at six points meat and insects so the trapper could be decent and that's only four so we might take that and I will get clay reeds copper there's no coal so you are going to have to cut trees you're not gonna find any coal uh, the amber is at four I'm not gonna be able to grab that Get meat off trees, marrow off trees. That's interesting. Weather. Um. I mean, there's, there seems to be a lot of meat here. Meat on the trees, meat and insects available. So lizards could be good. Plus, if I'm going to bring the trappers with me, the lizards work well in the trappers. So I might go with the lizards. And then the bricks are not discounted, so I can only bring the stone. Alright. So, all three of these caravans look to be about equal. If the harpies had come with foxes, for sure, I might have preferred this one with the dew. Having the fox housing would be nice. And because I don't have dew and cannot get it, that makes the foxes here less attractive. So it's going to be one of these two. One of the bottom two. And I'm thinking it's going to be lizards. All right, well, let's see what happens. No idea what I'm getting myself into. All right, we have Barry New Year. That's a decent one, if you can. Unfortunately, I didn't bring the herbalist with me, but still, if we can find some small berries, you can get an awful lot of berries off of that. Here we go. Okay, one fewer sacrifice stack is could be a problem. Hailstorm shouldn't be a problem. Unnatural erosion will be a problem. I'm going to lose resource nodes. And melancholy, as I've stated in some of my previous videos, is one of my least favorite level threes. I find it difficult to fulfill this by the time it kicks in. So, this is not going to be the easiest map. Yeah. 
and it doesn't tell me anything else, at least not yet, about what this beacon tower does. A blueprint given by the queen herself, so I have a blueprint somewhere. And there it is, Beacon Tower. All right, powerful ancient structure that allows you to summon aid directly from the Citadel grants access to three types of temporary support abilities. Preview. Now the preview is not very informative. It's not telling me anything about what it actually does. I guess I will just have to build it and find out. Alright, and we do have some small berries, so I will probably want to get those collected immediately in the drizzle while the berry New Year's going. I don't have any farm buildings for this farm patch, and just a couple of reeds. Alright, some pretty cool looking trees here. Cool looking red ones, and then some really creepy looking tree face fishman face trees here that's a very cool look and I kind of like the music as well All right, this tree only has two charges that's not extra charges on the wood okay the abyssal trees have 20 charges okay, so you're going to want to cut as many of these abyssal trees as possible to avoid increasing the hostility And then cut as few of the other trees as you can. So this is going to require a little more precision than I usually have. And what have we got here? Well, I'm definitely taking the herbalist over the bakery, especially since we've got that berry new year. That could be quite the first pick, so I will not complain about that. And a workshop. It did give me a couple of very nice starting buildings. Alright. And I've even got the stuff I need to build the workshop right away. Let's get the standard paths in. Um, if I manage to get a farm building, I'm going to want to put the farm right here, I think. So I can continue that down to there at least. And we have eight bodies, seven available, two woodcutters. Shift click the priority on the woodcutters. And we are off. Now I am going to want to select as many of these abyssal trees as possible. There we go. Of the others as possible, although you do need to cut towards this glade. Well, I can get to this glade a little quicker, so I might plan on opening this one first. Twenty charges each to get to that glade. I might need to have both of these working on that one section. Alright, what do we got? Plus one packs is alright, but I don't have any amber right now, so I'm tempted to just decline it.
plus two leather, 10% proc on leather out of the trees. I think that'll be enough leather coming in. I don't want to get tons of leather off the trees. I want to be getting wood. So I don't really want this. I don't want my woodcutters clogged up with a bunch of leather. So it's packs or amber. I think I'm going to go with the amber. I don't mind export specialization, but because I couldn't bring amber with me, I think I'm just gonna take them. Take the amber. And we haven't brought any wood in yet, so I'm not gonna look at these quite yet. We do have pickled goods, which they are currently eating, presumably, should I I don't know if I should leave these on right now or not. How long is it going to take me to get houses up? There's 28 pickles. There's only 8 people. That's good for 3 cycles, which is like 6 minutes. Which would get me to the storm, but not through it. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off for the moment. I'll turn it on come clearance time. When I might want those, I might want the pickled goods for, if I get orders for Lizard Resolve, the pickled goods will help me get there, so I want to save those for that. Definitely takes a while to get through these abyssal trees here. All right, a couple minutes left in clearance. It's time to turn on the pickled goods and check our things here. These are both decent, but coming up with the 10 bricks might take me a while. I think I'll just take the booming economy, although I would prefer to have parts, especially since I got the trapper and the herbalist. Oh, I might need the parts. If I knew I was getting parts from some of the other ones, I might take this, but I need to make sure I get some parts. All right, there's one that I want. Keep the lizards above 15 for 30 seconds. Get some parts. And we will have encampment level one done pretty quickly here. And that's some more parts. Actually, it's kind of tempting to take this because I mean you will get this done eventually there is copper in here so getting plus one copper ore might not be bad a nice chunk of 25 coal would not make me sad this one is not at all tempting who knows if I'll even find a ruin to rebuild but tick-tock is perfectly reasonable 
I don't have a smelter building yet, though, or a tool building. So I can't be certain that I'd really get a lot out of the copper ore. And I'm getting two wildfire either way. Yeah, I'm just going to take the safe pick here. I need another builder to get this done in time because they're taking a while to get that up. got here. Well, smithy for tools. If I get a smelter, the training gear could also be useful and so could the trade goods. This is a pretty solid building get to get, especially when you already got the workshop so your industry is covered. The rain mill is also decent. Three star flower is nice. Building materials is also nice, and you usually can get a lot of orders for that. But I think I'm going to favor the smithy here. Tools and training gear, both very viable. Even if I can't get trade goods going. Alright, now this one is... I mean, it's almost certainly going to be the greenhouse here. I don't need the lumber mill. I've already got a trade goods building. The workshop will do for the planks. So yeah, this is going to be the greenhouse. Which means if I don't find drizzle water, I'm going to have to put up a rain collector. So I'm going to be glad that I have all of those extra parts. And I need one more shelter. And I need the herbalist up to get these berries done as soon as Drizzle comes in. And then the workshop. Cutting down too many random trees. I'm not paying enough attention here. Plus, I'm going to want to get to this glade eventually, and it looks like it's going to take a very long time to get there through all of these abyssal trees. our first issue. Plague of Mosquitoes. The ancient seal is crumbling, releasing a new plague every storm. Global 
global production speed is slower just during the storm. All right, that's not too bad. Not doing a lot of production right now anyway. Now, I did say to watch the glades for clues. I don't think we have any clues in our starting glade. Unless you count this fishman face as a clue. Maybe that means go this way. Now there's fishman faces in a variety of places, so that's not anything. So I'll just have to wait until I bust into a glade and see if it tells me anything. All right. Do not have much wood. Still need a trading post and a makeshift post up. That's gonna take like all of my wood. don't really have room for this trading post right now either. Debating if I want a third woodcutter's up. But that seems kind of pointless. I'm going to want to be putting people into the herbalist as soon as storm is over. And I'm going to want people in the workshop as well. But I do have three people just sitting here doing nothing right now. And more newcomers coming in. So even though global production speed is down 50%, I might as well have them doing something. I have two houses available and three people coming in because I'm going to want that harpy. We are at zero hostility. That should be fine. to be getting into this glade and because I'm having a hard time coming up with wood I maybe should be burning coal I mean uh, marrow here I'll save the coal for sacrificing 
I am getting marrow off the trees. So I might need to burn that, save the wood for planks. Alright, we got into that faster than I expected. Tons of farm field does not make me happy. Oh, I do not like this at all. This is a bad event to get in your first one. Oh, this is very bad. Okay, I have enough tools. I'm two pottery short of being able to fix this. Well, this is a mess. I need them to produce nothing but fabric if I'm going to have any chance of doing this. If I can't buy pottery to fix this. I really don't want to lose this first blade. There's a lot of meat here. And is that a furnace? That's a furnace. That's going to enable me to smelt that copper. And I've already got the smithy. And then we're going to get copper out of this clay, as well as finding copper mines somewhere, presumably, I think. Wasn't, yeah, there was copper ore available in a mine here, so... I really don't want this exploding on me. And, okay, this must be the hints that it said to look for in the glades. They always point in the direction of a nearby seal. So it looks like I'm going to want to move up towards this glade next. Hopefully if you find this seal, it will stop these events from happening. So I need... have any planks right now. I can't build the... Can't build rain collectors without planks. I need rain collect... Oh, I do have some planks. Oh, where do... I don't know where I got those planks from. I'll take them happily. And I don't have... of these rain collectors will be staying up if I keep them up. That'll be this one. But I need to get these going so that I can get enough drizzle water to clear this. And I will set it to drizzle water right now so that I don't forget. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to clear all this. I might need a third rain collector. trading post up yet so I can't because I didn't have room so I can't buy the pottery I need switch you over to a harpy all right maybe I don't need that fourth one it's 16 seconds for two drizzle water. And 
because this only produces drizzle water, I mean clearance water, not drizzle, I don't really want to fix it. I would rather tear it down. Am I going to have a dozen fabric in time or up to... One isn't going to help me, so two, four, six. When they finish this, I still need three more cycles. Which is going to take... A minute, minute and a half maybe with break. That should be done in time. And I need to get to 30 drizzle water. I've got four people working. That means they should be producing just under eight a minute. Four people, that should be 32 a minute. There might be breaks in there. That might take a minute and a half with four people. All right, minute and a half should work. A minute and a half on fabric, minute and a half on there. Make sure they deliver that fabric as soon as it comes in. So a minute and a half on the water, a minute and a half on the fabric, and then I will be able to finish this. It'll with two people working. It'll probably take four minutes or so. I should have plenty of time. Don't know how many glades I'm going to get discovered. This is pretty early to be doing it, so improvised tools would be fine. I'm not a fan of economic migration. I, d I don't like large cities. I'm either taking improvised tools or I'm re-rolling for something that'll make more of a difference because I can already produce my own tools now with the furnace and the smithy. Yeah, let's try to find something better. Okay, burnt to a crisp is fantastic. From the ashes. It's not going to work on here because you need to open a bunch of glades for this. You need a wide open space to get up like four or five hearths to take advantage of this and that's just not going to happen so burnt to a crisp is a lovely little thing we will be quite happy to take that all right and turning in 65 mushrooms or discovering three dangerous glades I will probably discover three glades eventually. Who knows if I'd ever get to 65 mushrooms. And even if I did, the reward is not that great. So. And fire starter burn 12 cysts. Get plus one fuel. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Who knows if I'll ever get a brewery. If you've already got the brewery, this is a great one to take, getting that free tavern out of it, but I can't take a chance on finding a brewery. So we'll be going with the fire starter there. I had people to be doing these berries, but I need them all gathering water right now. And not taking breaks. We're in an emergency here, mate. Quit taking breaks. Alright, there's our 30 drizzle water. Start 
collecting berries for the rest of this drizzle here. Try to get some food coming in before we start dying. already have the 12 fabric. Alright. we get started and that something didn't get thrown off. All right, timer's ticking down. We will make it. Let's get rid of that rain collector. I'll leave this one up. I do still need drizzle water coming in to run that greenhouse. Drizzle water as I can. Oops. Unlimit that, turn everything else back on. Gather any more berries. Do not gather clearance water. production speed would not be bad but I'm not gonna make it to 27 amber for that yeah. food wise I feel I should be all right although I'm not gathering any more berries but we're getting meat out of the trees harpies also like jerky so if I get a field kitchen going I should keep an eye open for a jerky building if I get offered one. What the furnace does pies, right? Yeah, the furnace does pies. That's not helpful. Well, the fact that it does two-star bricks will enable me to not make bricks in the warehouse, so I won't have to build a second warehouse, usually, or workshop, I mean. Usually I have to build two workshops, because one of them can't keep up with everything, but... If I just have to do planks and fabric in here, that hopefully will be fine. leather. Yeah, I'm very glad I didn't take that plus two leather. I'd be getting more leather than meat as well over there. And then we'd be starving to death. That plus two leather cornerstone can really 
fight you. Oops, and you guys are not working where I want you to. got here longer rests and 50% more food will be consumed I don't want to turn off bricks because I need eight bricks right away for that hearth I want to build. Yeah, I think I want them producing just bricks right now until I get that secondary hearth up. Plan on working towards that glade. So I'm going to want to get a warehouse up over here. I'm going to need to get that stone cutter running because I'm going to run out of materials for the bricks. need to collect some of this clay. What's the reward for this? It's 15 clay. 15 clay will turn into 10 bricks, so I will break even on that. But I think it's going to have to wait for a while. I want to get that hearth up first, so that's just going to have to wait.
24 stone would turn into more bricks eventually. The five pottery would push me over that 30 threshold if I need it for an event again. Four people versus two. I kind of feel like I need the labor here. If I ever get trade routes going, Deep Pockets is quite solid. I might eventually start using rain engines here if I keep two people in the rain collector permanently. Certainly it wouldn't make me sad to get the workshop going. Driving water takes a while to kick in by the time I actually get everything going. some provisions going here. Yeah, we're probably not going to reach a dozen humans, so this is the only side that's reasonable. Is pretty decent. Sixty treatment fulfilled versus the bathhouse and deliver fifty tea. If I had a bathhouse and fifty tea to deliver, I could fulfill the need for treatment. These are garbage orders. This is unlikely to happen. And there's no way I can cut into six glades in ten minutes at our cu current cutting speed. I wish I could because this is actually a pretty very nice reward if there was a way to cut into six glades. Six glades in ten minutes. I can reach this one. How many trees would I have to cut down? A couple here, a couple here, one here. It's one, two, three, four glades. Here. This one's a little harder. I might be able to do that. But then I would have to open up five small glades. And that would really start punishing my hostility levels. I don't think I want to. I, yeah, I just don't think I want to do that. Take my chance on fulfilling the 60. Oh 
Oh, I thought I left bricks on that fabric. Doggone it. getting me berries. another abyssal tree. This is taking forever to cut into. Doggone it. It's too late to be breaking into this. This is going to have to wait till next year. Come on, show me how many charges are left on it. Show me how many charges are left on that. Two charges left, for Pete's sake. It's too late to open that now. You go over there. the advanced rain collector and the minus hostility but there's no chance Stop. Oh, and that herb is in the way. I did not think that berry was in the way. Doggone it. I do have enough stuff to build the hearth. I do not have any room to build the hearth.
did not take these people out after the drizzle like I was supposed to. Plus 100% storm duration, no sacrificing. That could be an issue. Definitely make sure I stay at two hostility or, I mean at one hostility or lower. That'll get Fox Den to level one. This one I'm just taking because I need to get 10 trade routes done, so. Them go ahead and make a few fuel. But I probably won't go all the way back up to 10. I'd like to have six for events. Oops, except that I need to leave you in there to keep you warm and happy, so I guess we'll go back to 10. I don't have enough parts at the moment to get the harvesters up. berry in there. I'm going to delete that for the moment just so I can get the harvesters up, turn in that quest order or whatever. Okay, 
can't turn it in until... Uh, okay, I can turn it in. I'm only going to lose half a hostility here. I might actually build the Forsaken Altar on this map. Just because I don't know what I'm expecting from further events, and I don't even know that the beacon will take care of this. And speaking of the beacon, we have not gotten that built, and we probably should. Starting to worry about my hostility levels now, so I'm considering taking this side. Just to have fewer people. Alright, these are both excellent. <laughs> Because I've got a workshop, I mean, if I take the smuggler's visit, I could get something that would enable me to fulfill treatment. If I take safe haven, that's going to be like minus 80 hostility probably. I feel like I probably need to take safe haven. The smuggler's visit would be nice, but I'm not desperate since I've got the workshop, I've got a smithy, I've got a furnace, I've got the tools I need to beat this. The treatment would just, it would be nice, but I think you have to go for the minus hostility. Don't have a kiln, don't have a temple. If I had opened those up first, I might have taken the smuggler and taken the kiln. That would have been pretty reasonable. Now that's just an event that I will leave sit there in case I happen to stumble into a kiln or a temple. It can wait until I make a pick next year. You guys can come out of there now. You get over there and help bust into this glade. Alright, what do we got? Two large marrows, four meat things, so the trapper is going to be doing a lot of work. Some reeds, a storm geyser. The storm geyser can make my workshop go anyway. And we did find a copper vein for a mine, and Totems are generally pretty nice events. I do not have 30 luxuries, so I'm probably not going to be able to get this global resolve bonus. You do sell 30 luxuries. 
scrolls are cheaper than ale. Scrolls and wine are the same. He will take scrolls or wine. Thirty scrolls would cost me twelve amber. The two amber from that trade will put me at 18 amber, which means that I can pay this and buy 30 scrolls if I want. probably do want. this opened up so I can get in there next year hopefully find out what these guideposts are pointing to with the triangulation yeah that looks like it's here yeah, it could be here it might be just in this I think it's here. I think it's going to be in this dangerous glade right here. But can't quite zoom out far enough to be certain. It could be around in here in this forbidden glade, but see what they're pointing to next year, hopefully. And what do you do? Looks like I would be using this for meat. I don't know why it says supply beacon tower six if there's only two left. Like you see it says pack of meat, supply, beacon tower, and then six as in there's six available. 
which would imply that there's six packs of 30 meat available. But since it only says there's two left, I presume I can only do this twice. I'm assuming I can do each of these twice. And it looks like you just have to hold to activate. You don't have to turn anything in. So if I'm running out of food, I can get some meat. Plus 50% production for a season people leave slower trade routes are faster probably be taking global production rate on that one but not right now and then hostility minus 100 and scouts working faster Probably wouldn't take the Ancient Hearth's Resistance very often, although it could be something you need if you mess up, or if a specific event is hitting you hard. Miracle of Peace is likely what I would be using during a storm at some point. And you never know when 50% faster glade speed could be useful at some point. But you only get one of those miracles, so you better save it and make it count. Alright, now we know what the beacon tower does. And if I need another house up, and I've only got one unemployed worker, I want to get somebody into the harvester as well. And somebody into the furnace. somebody into the stone cutter. And somebody into the hearth. <laughs> that extra labor I didn't take could be costing me. Um, I, yeah, I do need some bricks now. There's 10 of each of those available. I'm going to remove that guy. Put him over there. You will only do bricks for now. got 18 drizzle water that'll only keep one human working up to level two so I can get that minus 40 hostility
how many extra people do we have over here? We have four extra people is all at the moment. So I will be stuck waiting on newcomers before I can get this up to level one even. But with four extra people, I can at least build a couple of lizard homes, get the park set up. Plague of Mysteries. Negative Forest Mysteries will activate three levels lower. That is a problem because I don't have any complex food. I have not remembered to get my jerky going because I always forget my field kitchens. Oh, this is going to be a problem. I forgot to check. Okay, there there is only one plague going at a time. It suddenly occurred to me that maybe I've got all of those plagues accumulating, but it is just one plague at a time. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything about the erosion problem. So I am going to lose a couple of resource nodes. And now I just have to pick something. I don't have to pick it. I can wait for one more blade here and then pick it. There is the ancient seal, along with a withered tree. What is the ancient seal? Evil has survived. The sealed ones enter our realm through this broken seal. Plagues are sent to destroy us. Collect the lost fragments. 
of the Ancient Guardian to summon it and close the seal. Wow, really? Buy five perks or blueprints from traders. Do I have to do all three of these? Collecting all parts is the only way to... So I have to buy five perks or blueprints from traders. Earn three rep from events. And install eight rain engines, really? I wonder if there are different ones in each map, if there are more than three of these available. After obtaining a part, you will be able to choose an epic cornerstone. A heart. Okay, okay, you're only going to do one heart, and then it's going to bring up something else, and you will do one blood, one feather, one life essence. Okay, so I only have to do one out of these three. Unfortunately, none of them look very viable right now. Three reputation from events, maybe. Here's one reputation from events. I do have the purging fire. And I can spare the dew. I uh, can't take meat spec because there's a meat in the trees that would mess up my wood. Another deep pockets that might help me get those, uh, might help me buy the perks I need from these traders. Need to buy blueprints or perks from traders. I mean, coat production might be useful at some point, I guess. Take that, there's one out of the five I need for this seal. I'm assuming this doesn't accumulate on things that you bought before you see it. But that is the first blueprint I've bought, so maybe this would have been accumulating. No, I probably had some I had probably had reputation from events before this. So yeah, it was not accumulating before I saw it. Now I can't pay that because I don't have enough amber until I complete some trade routes. And there's only four charges left on that berry, so I'll just let the harpy get it.
soon as that harpy house is done. Put the human in there. paying attention to what the woodcutters are doing so I've probably cut down more trees than I would have liked. And I need to get one more dangerous glade here for this expedition so we'll plan on it being this one. Start producing copper now. Copper bars. See if I can get some tools going. Oh, I did find some berries and some mushrooms. All right. And drizzle water. Oh, thank you, drizzle water. the wrong one there. I should have favored the lizards, not the harpies. <laughs> now it's got that one minute cooldown. It's still probably worth it. There are so many more lizards than harpies. Oh, I didn't finish the... Oh, I shouldn't have made it... I needed this to complete so that I could make that payment. I thought I had another season to do it. I shouldn't have gone for double trade routes. I needed that four amber, because I only had four. I thought I had enough time. And now I have lost two people when I'm desperate for labor. to 10 pipes so that I can put in the storm geyser as well and then uh, attach attach a rain, rain engine to the workshop at which point I might just run the workshop for all three just leave the furnace for copper doing on jerky is it accumulating or no not really also I don't have any meat oh, I've only got one person grabbing meat
Uh, grain roots, vegetables, doesn't really matter. Manufactory. The pigments could be useful for making trade goods. And it's always nice to have better provisions, so manufactory it is. New plague, all villagers are slower and have a 50% chance of destroying a production yield. Don't think I like that one. Brawling, I can make training gear, education also good for the harpies. Explorer's Lodge is perfectly fine here. I've got one rebuild. On the other hand, the cooperage is also fine. Yeah, we've only done one rebuild for the furnace, so the Explorer's Lodge will only give me a plus one for that. Cooperage barrels would be good for the pickled goods. Also for trade goods, although pigments will probably take care of that. It's also good for the coats. I did invest in plus two coat production, and two out of the three races want coats. And then it can make tea if I need to, if I find some way to fulfill cleanliness. Oh, these are both viable. I'm probably going to be making tools out of the metals. I don't have tons of stone, so I don't know that I'll get a lot of training gear. So I think I'm going to go with the cooperage. start producing some herbs down here 
Now that I've got a permanent source of drizzle water, I will turn all of the herbs into provisions packs. So I shouldn't need to use the berries or the meat for that anymore. Isabel's fall is already going to hit level one. Dewport needs two amber to reach its next level. We'll just do that. I've got enough bricks. I need the amber for buying perks if I'm going to get there, so I'll just take as much as I can. Pipes, return the dew. Need more planks. They're working on it very slowly. should have been moved down to the mushrooms when I was out of drizzle, but I forgot. I should be collecting mushrooms when it's not in drizzle, berries when it is in drizzle. Take this just in case I need 30 pottery for something. Alright. It's blueprints or perks, right? It's blueprints or perks. So I could buy the druid's hut. That would get me oil so that I can get quit being burned by that. could take the plus three pigments plus one copper these are both quite reasonable perks here and I'm not worried about the erosion thing that much so Wait, does it, it only hits two, right? It doesn't hit two times number of... Yeah, it's just two random resource nodes. If it was two times number of years or something, that would be a problem, but... Two resource nodes disappearing per year is... An annoyance. It could be more than an annoyance. I take the green from the beacon, I can turn it into oil. Fine, give me that. I'm 
might also want to get like this plus one copper maybe. Minute and 11, I'll have 12 more amber and he'll still be here. That'll put me at 38, I'll be able to buy that. Took 40 grain there. Okay, now that used to say six supplies, now it says 12. So I don't understand what the numbers next to those supplies mean. some planks but he doesn't sell any planks <laughs> we got lots of reeds and I'm not even using them I'm only using leather I think yeah, I've got tons of leather, tons of reeds. I don't need that harvester running anymore. That's free labor I can have back. I'll put it up here just in case I want to use it in the future, but... not working at the moment. We are in year six. I'm going to need to get back to at least ten of these, maybe a little more. That's got us to three out of the five there. And just a small caravan, that's not a problem. I don't want to give up 15 amber when I'm trying to buy perks, so I will loot this. Ten packs of provisions, and maybe I can sell the packs of crops at some point. That's going to take seven and a half minutes, plus the time for him to travel here. I don't want that minus six during the storm, so I think I've got to give them a second helper to make sure that finishes in time. Turning this in. Increase my hostility to level four. It shouldn't be a problem. What else I got here? I got a ton of clay, more farmland that I can't use, a little bit of insects, 
Another storm geyser and another chunk of coal. Not coal, copper. <laughs> Oh, that 50% chance. Why did you destroy the... Is that flag still going? We're in drizzle. Why did I just get a minus zero? Or an X zero on that? Okay, I'm real confused now. Why did that just say X zero? Oh, maybe she, oh, if she started that during the storm, even though it finished during the clearance Maybe it decided when she started it during the storm. Maybe she failed her 50% roll. That's not the kind of thing I ever pay attention to. And I don't think I should have to pay attention to that. It's just annoying. So anybody who's going to just barely start a cycle during the storm, you would have to stop them. That's more micromanagement than I want to do. Speaking of micromanagement, let's focus on these trees so I don't build up my hostility. At this point, I think I've got most of the buildings up that I need. I'm not going to destroy them just to refund the parts, and I don't think I need to build a ton more things here. And I don't have any parts. If I wanted another warehouse or a second trapper. No, but I'm going to be destroying this rain collector. I'll take the minus hostility. Turn off bricks in here, I'll assign that to the wood shop, workshop here.
That'll get Isabel's fall to level two. Which only leaves me enough packs to do that once. Oh shoot, I have unhoused people. I was not paying attention to housing forever. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Um, Alright, that'll take care of the two unhoused people. That still leaves me four extra people over there. Which means I can build two more specialty houses. Do I have enough stuff? Yes. Alright, once all that's built, this will reach level 2 and get me a minus 40, but I need to get 3 people in here. Also a new plague. Fuel disappearing rapidly.
All right, that got me a minus 40. Hopefully now I only have to sacrifice. Yeah, one wood now will get me. There, instead of two. in the greenhouse no we'll just take the 10 amber to buy perks he doesn't sell perks or blueprint oh these this is a perk mystery boxes are a perk really a very expensive perk Amber in a minute, he'll still be here. So I don't want to turn to that 20 Amber right now. That'll get me another building, so I will turn it in and check what we've got. took the cooperage, right? Yeah, I took the cooperage, so I don't need that for barrels. Not doing wine. Porridge would help with the humans. Theoretically, I can produce herbs for that. But then I also need a lot of drizzle water. City is not in range, so I might as well sell this ancient tablet for something. I'll save it for somebody who sells tea. faster some miscellaneous junk not impressive I'm just gonna do this one so that I can try to keep 20 amber around faster harvesting and a bunch of junk all garbage but I can acquire the Heart of Amber. So we can finally see where we're at here. Two Empathy events, that's never going to happen. Earn six rep from Resolve. That's a long ways away. This 
single transaction value seems the most likely to happen, but... It is value and not 100 amber, right? Because nobody carries 100 amber. Yeah, goods worth 100 amber. Could we make this? A hundred amber. No, everything I have will not make that. Loyalty decisions are easy enough because you can do them out of the caches, but empathy decisions are not easily come by. On this. I don't have a flower building. The bakery's not that great. Maybe I get porridge going at some point. Well, now I get a flower building, of course. Uh, it could be useful for the water skins, so I'll keep it for that. I will switch you guys from using leather to reeds. I'll keep the leather for the water skins. So hopefully I can get some pickles going. As I hate building the Forsaken Altar, I think I will do it this time. Because I am starting to run out of time to complete this with only four points left here.
Twitch traders coming in. Sahilda buys packs, raw food, basic resources, some building materials. Try and get as many trade goods done as possible so I can sell those. Get Beaverbrook to level one. Okay, extra hostility from Glades. Six minutes 37 is going to be too long. She will be here right after the storm ends. Just four minutes. She might be here for like a minute or so after that, so I can't take anything that's more than like five minutes at most. That's probably safe. This is a lousy rate of return. Alright, 
what you got for me. More money. I think I'm going to take the Stormforge hidden from the Queen because I have nothing to spare. And if I make, if something happens or I make a mistake, that might be too much impatience. Well, try and take advantage of some value-added text, I guess. Alright, I need a hundred ambers worth of stuff. Flower, I can turn right around back into packs of trade goods.
All right, there's a hundred amber. Dang, are those trade goods worth a bunch? easy one standing level three with two trade routes that one will be pretty easy to do most of the time I would think metal feathers you can probably do on most maps it's definitely more expensive I mean standing level three with two trade routes just seems far easier than this other stuff fulfill service needs yeah I mean, I guess this one could happen. I just don't happen to have my services done, but otherwise you're pretty close on that. So, yeah, these first two are not that bad. And now for the nasty. Use 300 units of water. Keep humans above 40. Lizards above 30, Harpies above 30, for 300 seconds. I don't know if this is all at the same time, or if you can do them individually. Hopefully it's individually. Otherwise, come up with 8 Ancient Tablets. Not even close on the eight ancient tablets, and unfortunately, I already sold one. And you have to do two Forbidden Glades in quick succession with that one. Yeah. So I think you want to focus on the Resolve one here, probably, unless you've managed to find... Like, if I had a Clearance Geyser, I could go for this. Too bad I had... Too bad I got rid of that Clearance Source in the first event. Yeah, I could look around all day and not find a clearance geyser. There's just no guarantees there, so... I would have to put up rain collectors. It would take a long time to get enough water together for this. But I do have the burnt to a crisp, so I don't mind building up these things so I'm going to try and plan on doing this here as a backup so we got to put a rain collector back up two rain collectors would be nice I would need another part though I mean I can destroy the harvester that's fine I guess give me some more people. I'm gonna want another field kitchen here.
Now I've got five unhoused people and four people I can spare from here so I can get this up to level one at least. Harpies, I need one more harpy house. I need tons of lizard houses. Did not check if I had the materials. I do. One, two, three lizard houses and a park. need a ton of pipes then. The herbalist, I have not been remembering to move back and forth, of course. Getting the humans to 40 seems like a pretty tall order. So yeah, without any services, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off the essences. Flyer is probably the only place I'm going to really get clearance water done, so you guys should stop building planks. We'll do that at the supplier. Hidden reward is a chance to get some tablets. I would have two right now if I were to do two Forbidden Glades in quick succession. That would give me two more events done, which would give me one more tablet. The question is, do caches count as Glade events for this, and I'm not sure. I'm going to take this, try opening some caches, and see what happens. If nothing else, the ancient tablets I get will sell for the 10 amber anyway. Also, I'm running out of time. I really need to get my tool production going. Yep, 
And I am out of metals. I don't have much copper. I never built a copper mine. I don't have any... Oh, I have just enough parts for it right now. Green delivery would keep the oil coming in so I can build more water skins. I'm not sure that's really helpful, but I'll take it. Minus five global resolve from venomous snakes. Make it 4 minutes 22 so that they're available, that Amber's available when the next trader gets here. Maybe they'll sell me enough stuff to make a resolve push. I don't know who's coming. I'm not selling copper ore. I want to make tools out of it. Fourteen to nine is better than thirty two to nineteen. Although it is two extra packs, actually.
Glade events. If I was going to try to get into the Forbidden Glades, that might matter. Fuel, nah, none of these are real. Prayer, prayer book is the only one that might matter, and I might just take it. Let's see if when this completes, if I get another... Where is the hidden rewards thing, where are you? There it is. All right, let's see if we get another one or not. Progress one out of two. All right, caches do count towards hidden rewards. So that makes it more possible to pull that off. So I will take this. If I need to bust into two Forbidden Glades, that will help. If I need to bust into two Forbidden Glades, then I need my woodcutters working on getting in there. another forbidden glade Well, there's the bathhouse, just in case I get offered enough tea to get that done. got anything helpful
I'm gonna need 12 amber for breaking into the glades. Okay, I'm gonna get 30 more amber in 40 seconds here. Darn, they had already finished that other cache, I think. out if I can just do these individually or not. You cannot just do them individually. They all have to be at the same time. So getting the humans to 40 is going to be a problem. They can't, I don't think I, you can't do it without services and I don't have leisure or religion available so that's out completely. So you don't get any biscuits, how you like that, humans. You don't get any pies either. I guess I'll take the tavern for the plus three and it's a chance to get the humans some leisure. If I can buy some ale. Swarm plot. Oh, we're gonna need a lot. Oh, we need a lot of these, and we're gonna need a second blight post. Something's gonna have to be destroyed because I only have one part left, right? Yeah, I need two parts. Uh, what don't I need right now? Nope. 
currently out of food from the trappers. Yeah, there's not a lot to sell. Oh man, I'm out of food and insects. The jerky's gone. I do have 158 of it, but it's not gonna last. Yeah, I might have to open those forbidden glades just to find some nodes. All right. of death. Discover two dangerous or forbiddens. If you don't, three villagers will be killed. Oh, thank you so very much. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I mean... Oh, the heck with it. Not sure this is the right call. I think I can just win this. I might be able to just win this map, although I am running out of caches. So maybe I don't have enough left. Oh, I do have Hidden from the Queen. It doesn't matter if people die in terms of impatience. It doesn't matter if the people die in terms of impatience. So if I'm going to win this map, am I better off trying to get four points from Resolve? No, because I'm going to run out of stuff to make people happy here. Pickled goods. I do have a billion mushrooms. And these. 
So I can get pickled goods. That'll keep the lizards happy. Should have been doing that ages ago. If I can buy some tea, I can get the treatment done, although I don't, you're not going to be able to buy 60 tea from one person. I do have a tea building. It's a bad building and I need metals for it. How oh, the heck with it. Opening two for Bidden Glades will be fun. I'm going to do it. That's what's the worst that can happen. Entertainment will be had. <sighs> I need some ancient tablets as well. Otherwise, there's no point here. Um, 45 coats, a dozen metals. If I stop making, okay, I'm not making tools. Turn that. We are producing copper bars. We have enough copper to get there. I can do that with copper bars. All right, that one should be possible. just gonna crank out blood flowers that's not that big a deal but it's also not going to get me any ancient tablets are we done with cysts yet no we still have a ton of cysts still I'm just gonna let it destroy nodes every 90 seconds a blood flower This is 2 minutes 43 seconds. It should only spawn one blood flower. That's thanks to that perk we took that gives us scout speed.
How did it spawn two blood flowers? How? See, that's BS. It says every 90 seconds. That's, uh, that's some BS. I am not happy with that at all. He doesn't sell tea, he does sell ale, which I could try to push with the humans for a little bit of resolve, I guess. I'm not going to get the ancient tablets I needed. One more when that event finishes, that'll put me at five. I don't think there's enough caches around to get us up there. I don't know. I assume this doesn't count as an event, but I guess I can try it if I had food for it anyway. There we go. I would have to get six new people. Not happy about that. I'll try that in an emergency. I think we're just not going to be able to finish the seal, but I think we'll finish the map. It's just taking me too long to get these rain engines going.
Well, this might count as a glade event. I suppose I can rebuild that. This camp has nothing. Try and reposition these and not gain hostility again. This is going very slowly. Zero out of two. We'll see if this counts in a minute. Building the market did count.
All right, I think that did count. I think I got credit for that. So if I welcome these other people, should get credit for that as well. However, I am rapidly running out of food because of the events. Uh-oh. Will we make it? I need this to complete. Minute four, it says. Will it complete? They have not started it yet. They're short two tools. I told you to deliver those tools. Oh, you jerks. And we're not going to make it. Well, there we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to knock out a... I don't think I can knock out a point of resolve before this kills me off here. Oh, well. I guess... <laughs> There's a blatant failure on my part. I think I focused too much on getting this ancient seal done. You don't I don't think you have to do it. I was just curious and I wanted to get it done. If I had just focused on my tools, this would have been fine. Oh well. Y'all can enjoy watching me fail. <laughs> See, Miro made it close, got it down to 19 seconds, but not enough. 12 seconds off from completing this, because that would have gotten me the point I needed. Then the resolve would have kicked in, and I might have been able to, yeah, just not efficient enough. Oh well, thanks for watching me fail. <laughs> Hope you all have a great day, and we'll try this again at some point in the future now that I have some clue what's happening. So yeah, that was completely winnable. I just did not, I was, did not try my best there. I did not optimize well towards the end. Did not get pickled goods going. Any, anyway, I was drowning in pickled goods materials. I should have had so much more resolve from the lizards. So yeah, just lots of mistakes made on that map because I was distracted trying to get the seal taken care of and wasn't just focusing on the map. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.